Hello and welcome to the Gear for Music Studio. I'm Alex and I'm here with Luke from Korg and he's here to tell you a little bit about the Volker FM digital synthesizer module. So Luke, tell me a little bit about it. Okay, so brand new Volker in the range. Similar to the other Volkers in that it's got your step sequencer. You can play it via MIDI, via a controller or control it from your computer. It's got a built-in speaker, but obviously it's very different because it's modeling FM synthesis. Cool. So yeah, this is your first digital synth then. So following on from the Volker sample. Absolutely, yeah. So first one in the range, which is a true digital synthesizer. And like I said, it's modeling the, the very famous DX synthesizer from the 80s. Fantastic. So it's the Volker FM synthesizer. It's quite hard to believe that this is a full FM synthesizer. I mean, it's such a small unit. Show us some of the sounds that it can produce then. Yeah, we were surprised when we first heard about this. Um, the fact it's got all six operators, 32 algorithms, just like the original DX. I've got it hooked up to this tactile um, control keyboard at the moment via MIDI, which means I can play all the sounds. So we've got the classic E piano. It's three note poly, so I can play up to three notes at once. So you've got the sounds like that. You've also got classics like electric bass. Classic 80s sounds. Yeah, they're all kind of synonymous with that very uh, famous period in music stuff like these uh, brass sounds they're all in there and these are just the presets of course um you can actually load in the original um dx patches as well again that'll make it a lot easier because the fm synths were notoriously difficult to program back in the day so a lot of people did just use the presets absolutely but what we've tried to do here is kind of strip back all of that difficult editing and just give you a few basic parameters just to get involved with and then if you want to go deeper you can we've given you several easy to use parameters so we've got the sound here so we can transpose it that can be in octaves but it can also be in semitones as well you can set it to do that you can change the velocity obviously a big part of the fm um, synthesis and its expression was down to the velocity sensitivity can hear the sound shape in there as I change that but you can also change of course the envelopes so the attack and also the decay but it really starts getting interesting when you start changing things like the modulator attack and its decay as well because it changes the way all the different sine waves in FM, FN synthesis um, interact with each other starting to get those really clangorous kind of fm bell like effects it's that classic metallic sound exactly exactly you've also got lfos as well so if you want to add some um, kind of motion to the pitch you can do that so you can get some nice kind of wavering sounds as well so one of the great things about the Volker FM is the screen you've got. It makes it really easy to see exactly what you're doing because there's so many different parameters. At least you've got something as a reference. Yeah, that's right. Um, we've a little bit of a departure from our other Volkers. Most of them have this kind of more simple display. This one's great because you can um, show the names of the patches. Uh, but also when it comes to editing, if you press edit there, you can actually see all the different parameters and then edit them from the screen as well, which is obviously very important with FM synthesis because there's a hell of a lot of parameters there. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've noticed you get this with it included in the box. You get the parameters list, so it's going to show you exactly what you can do. Yeah, it's really good. It gives you a whole list of all the FM parameters, um, individual operator ones and global ones. And then on the back, you've got all the 32 algorithms as well. Cool. So you've got a couple of bits of kit on here. How are these guys linked together? So we've got the Volker FM we've been looking at. Um, that's linked via MIDI to this Triton tactile controller we've got here. So we've got MIDI out into there, which means that I can then play cool. the sounds of the Volker FM via this keyboard. But what's really cool is that all of these little parameters will respond to MIDI CC or control change messages, which means I can map on this controller or any other controller or software to control here. So for instance, I can change the decay to get it to linger on or get it to be to be shorter and what's nice is that we get a visual representation of which controller i'm using with the lighting up controller. yeah i noticed that that yeah. is really handy actually not only does the display tell you exactly what you're doing but the actual parameter knob itself actually lights up yeah and it's got a value as well which is great so 
if you've got sort of longer throw faders like this and stuff, it sometimes makes it a bit easier to when you're doing your really fine tuning than the, the small knobs on there. So one of the things that excited me when I first heard about the Volker FM was the fact that it was going to have an arpeggiator built in. It's the first Volker unit to have an arpeggiator. So do you want to show me how that works? Yeah, sure. It's really easy to use. You literally dial up your sound that you want. And then you just go to the arpeggiator section. There's two controls here. You've got your type. And if it's all the way to the left, then it's off. But then as soon as you start turning it, then it starts playing. And then you've got all your different arpeggiator patterns like falling, rise and fall. And then this one shows the division. So it's effectively the speed. And then depending on your pattern, you get some really nice stuff going. And obviously that's clocking at the tempo that we're currently at, which you can change if you want to. So you've heard some of the sounds of the Volker FM, but I noticed you've got a voice mode on the bottom. So explain how that works. Yeah, so we've been working mainly in poly mode at the moment. So you play your note and you can play up to three notes, but you've also got mono mode and unison mode. So if we stick it into unison mode, you get a much fatter sound because they're effectively stacking those three notes of uh, polyphony together. Plus you've got a chorus mode which you can just turn on and off. So all of these functions are just accessed via holding down function and then pressing the relevant key. So we've got unison and chorus turned on. So we've fattened up the sound. What's great about the Volkers though, of course, is the fact you've got a step sequencer built in. So you can sequence it, say, from the pad on here or from a controller keyboard. That's same. right, yeah. So it doesn't make any difference whether you're playing via MIDI or via here. You can make a sequence. So there's already a sequence built in here. So that'll just cycle around. We've got it hooked up to this Volker sample at the moment as well, um, via a sync cable, comes included with it. What that does is then, uh, this enables this to play a pattern, and this will sync to it. So whatever tempo is running here, this will follow. So let's have a go at making our own pattern. So to do that, it's just function, clear all, that clears everything. And then, start the rhythm. This is running at the same tempo. So now I can record. So we've captured our pattern. What's really cool as well though, is the fact that I can and record automation of any of these parameters into the pattern. We call it motion record. So to do that, you just set it going. For instance, I might want to change the velocity. Yeah. Get some expression in there. So I hit record. And it's recorded that. So it's so easy just to yeah. start creating those little patterns. And you can then just turn that on and off. So you can A, B it without that velocity with it so i can see in this program you've got a load of sysx data i'm guessing that's all transferable across to the volker fm absolutely yeah um in this case this is a plugin called dex which i'm using but it could be another um, software synth or just a, a simple midi transfer protocol like midiox or something i can get the original data from the original dx synths stick it into here and then beam it across via midi and that can be a single patch, or it could be a whole bank of sounds. And all I have to do, literally, is get my sound, and then send it across. It's in the Volker FM now. And there's my sound. So that opens up a whole world of thousands of sounds that have been created and saved that you can load up straight away. Absolutely. And they're all out there, free of charge. You can just go and download them. And then you've got a, a, a massive palette of sounds to use in your Volker FM. So that's been a brief overview of the COG Volker FM digital synthesizer. Thanks to Luke for talking us through this. No problem. And for more information on the COG range of synthesizers, please visit the Gear for Music website. Thanks for watching.